Hey guys, Amelia here. So I finally got a ring light. Yay! Yeah, pretty sure you can tell from my eyeballs. I am super excited about this. Um, I haven't really played much with this ring light, so if you guys want like a whole review about this, do let me know in the comments below. If you guys are new to this channel, my name is Amelia. I uploaded videos, I try, every Tuesday or Wednesday. And yeah, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to this channel by clicking the button below. Today I would like to share with you guys some swatches on the ColourPop highlighters. I have six with me. ColourPop releases a trio highlight set um, targeted specifically for a different skin tone, fair, medium, and dark. So I decided to get the medium one for me, the medium set. And then on top of that, I decided to get all the tie-dye highlighters that they have at that moment. I currently don't have any highlighter on my skin, so yeah. frosted on my skin but I really really like how natural and subtle it looks. I think the pearlized one is way more shimmery compared to the satin one just now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna swirl everything and then swatch on my cheeks. shimmery as the pearlized one in fact probably even more so glaze is actually dedicated for fair skin tones but I'm gonna swatch it out and see whether it is only suitable for fair skin tones or is it also suitable for my skin tone which I think is medium The next highlighter that I have is Ice. This is the tie-dye highlighter dedicated for dark skin tones. Okay, definitely too dark for me. Okay, Ice is definitely too dark for me as a highlighter. So last but not least is the one that started it all. So Churro is just a standalone highlighter, so they don't recommend like which skin tone is this for, but judging from the color, I think it's probably gonna be a bit too dark for my skin tone. It's very dark. definitely too dark for me as a highlighter but I think it's a really nice color for like an eyeshadow kind of color um, so these three are the ones from the cannoli collection and then these three were the tighter highlighters finally done with all the swatches I ended up using whip currently on my skin like on my cheeks uh, cupid's bow and the bridge of my nose um, I don't think it's a good idea to put it on the bridge of my nose, especially I have oily skin. So based on my swatches and my first impression, I would have to say that I really, really like all of these highlighters. If you like more of a subtle, natural kind of finish, go for the satin finishes. If you'd like more of the super shimmery ones, go for the pearlized and the tie-dye ones. I kind of feel that the tie-dye ones are even more um, shimmery compared to the pearlized ones, but let me know what you think. As for like the packaging and the look-wise, of course, I love the tie-dye ones the most because it is just so unique. The patterns are just so cool, in my opinion. I know. I know. Last time I checked, they still have the trio highlighters. Do grab them. Um, I think for if you have a skin tone like me, more of like the fair Asian kind of skin tone, you can definitely go away with the medium and the fair ones. The dark ones definitely have to skip. If you're thinking of getting trio as well, don't think of getting it as a highlighter, but you can definitely consider it as like um, an eyeshadow color. So those are all the things that I'd like to share with you guys today. I hope you guys find this video fun and helpful. 
do like this video if you like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't and yes thank you all so much for watching and hope to see you guys again in my next video bye bye